with Chief Meteorologist Matt Miller. A lot of cloud cover hanging around the area for the next couple of days. This system is going to be tough to completely get rid of in the next 48 hours even, uh, but we are at least going to lose the majority of the rain showers. Those are moving through this evening and then again into part of the night. We'll see some of those showers sliding off to the east and then things should dry out. After this round of rain, we're largely done with the precipitation, but the wind is not going to be done with yet. The clouds won't be. We'll have that hanging around on Wednesday. We will start clearing out Thursday into Friday. Should have a lot of sunshine and then warmer conditions start to return later in the weekend and into the start of next week. Rain right now across the central areas, kind of a light to moderate rain, a steady rain may pick up a few hundredths of an inch out of this, maybe a tenth of an inch tops. That'll push on to the east and to the southeast over the course of the evening hours. Cloudy sky right now at Holton. Cloudy waiting on the rain to return back into the Lawrence area after cooling off. Showers falling, hitting the lens. It's not raining that heavily that can't see across the city. That's just literally hitting the lens as it's facing northward there. 42 degrees with a northerly wind at 16 miles per hour. Picked up an additional 29 hundredths of, inch of an inch of rain since midnight. A lot of that falling during the night and again with a few heavier showers earlier today. We made it up to our expected high of 54 before the cold front came in and now we're turning quite a bit cooler, but it is below average. Average highs back up to 60 and we're looking at much chillier weather than that over the next uh, several days. Really, it'll take a while to warm back up. Yesterday's rain exceeded an inch at Emporia. Lots of the area picked up between about half to an inch and then we added to that during the course of the night additional amounts of almost an inch of rain over the west and anywhere from about a quarter of an inch or a little bit less than that over some of the eastern areas. So nice good soaking rain over the last two days. Temperatures in the 30s and low 40s across all areas right now. 39 at St. Mary's as well as Sabetha, 42 at Topeka, 45 Linden and that colder wind making it feel like it's in the low 30s over a large area. The strong wind, the chilly temperatures, but that 15 to 30 mile per hour north wind will turn more northwesterly as we head throughout the overnight and through the day tomorrow. Really not looking at any decrease in the wind strength for the next 24 hours. Overall showers right now across our region continue to push off to the east. Numerous severe thunderstorms erupting across parts of Louisiana, Mississippi, moving over into Alabama. That's where the targeted area is uh, today for severe weather off toward that south and eastern portion of the storm. You know, one of these days it's going to come farther to the north. And so we want to get you geared up for the upcoming severe weather season. We've got a couple of weather radio programming events coming up Thursday of this week, 3.30 to 6.30. That'll be at the uh, Westlake Ace Hardware in North Topeka. Next Wednesday, same time at the Midwest Ace Hardware where in Manhattan we'll have additional ones after that. Showers move away to the east, could mix with a few wet snowflakes for some tonight, tomorrow maybe as well. A very light amount of showers expected on Wednesday. As we head through Wednesday night and Thursday, still holding onto the clouds through the majority of the day, but we finally should start clearing out late Thursday. Tonight, showers push off to the east, cold wind 35, then 45 tomorrow, still breezy and chilly with a 15 to 30 mile per hour northwest wind. Then we're up to 49 on Thursday, but as we clear out late Thursday and then look for sunshine, heading in toward the weekend, we warm up to near 60 Friday and Saturday, upper 60s on Sunday, and then mid to upper 70s by Monday and Tuesday of next week. Looks like some nice weather making yeah. a return. Almost there, just a couple more days. Yeah, just hang on. And it is needed rainfall. It's you know, Yes, it's a nuisance, it's a little inconvenient, <laughs> and it's uncomfortable, but we needed the rain. Yes, so farmers can get some rain and then we can get some warmer weather there you go. later on. All right.